Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials, all info, no fluff. And today we're talking about Delta Solo, a new feature fresh out the oven as of Reaper 637. So let's just get straight to it. I got this overhead drum track right here and on it, I have an instance of Rhea Comp and to enable Delta Solo, you go up to this knob here on any effects window. This is the built-in dry and wet knob for any plugin in Reaper. Hold Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac and click this knob and you will see it change into this triangle shape. So now we have Delta Solo enabled for this plugin. So with this on, the only part of the sound that continues down the signal chain from this effects is what the plugin is doing to the incoming signal. If that sounds like a lot of gibberish, let's just quickly see it in action. When I press play, as you can see, we are seeing signal coming in, but we aren't hearing anything. The threshold is up and the signal isn't reaching yet, so we don't hear anything because there's no difference. Now, if I set the ratio to, uh, let's say two to one and begin to bring down the threshold, once signal begins to exceed the threshold, compression is taking place and we start to hear some sputtering of audio. So this is extremely useful because we can see exactly what part of our signal is hitting the compressor and what isn't being affected at all. So right now we can hear the snares hit the compressor, but nothing else is coming through. So if I really want to dig into my entire overhead signal, I need to bring my threshold down. And now my kicks and snares are hitting it, but we're getting a bit too much cymbal action. So I can also just start playing with the low pass to prevent the high end from triggering the compressor. And now I got my settings how I like them. Disable Delta Solo. Super useful. Let's close the compressor and open the Rhea EQ instance on the same track. Now, one of the features kind of missing from Rhea EQ is the ability to solo bands. Most EQs have some hotkey or a little button to solo a single band, and that's very useful when looking for that one offensive frequency in your signal. Rhea EQ doesn't have that built in. There's an MPL action for it, but that's about it. But now with Delta Solo, we don't need to do that whole dance. I'm just gonna reset the EQ to the completely flat default settings, enable Delta Solo again, and as I hit play we don't hear anything because no change has taken place as soon as i begin to bring up one of the bands we can hear some sound and we are hearing only that band but additionally i can now play with other bands and hear the difference we are making so now we won't hear the low end because that bit is flat but we can hear and focus on the effect of our eq only this is also useful for cutting. So say I want to cut out most of the sub from my overhead so I can have a, you know, center focused kick sub and overheads are wide. Find the amount you want to cut using Delta Solo and then just disable it and you're in business, baby. So Delta Solo, two thumbs up, five stars, great new feature, really useful for finding threshold of compressors, soloing EQ bands. I'd be remiss not to mention this awesome JSFX plugin by my buddy Denirius. You can download these for free and the link to that will be in the description. And these are a pair of plugins that work together. So I'll select both and put them on my track here. These do exactly what Delta Solo does, except that they can do it to multiple plugins at once. So all I gotta do is drag the one called encoder to the top of my effects chain and put the decoder at the bottom, sandwiching the effects that I want to Delta in the middle. As you can see, I have an EQ, then compressor, then a reverb, toggle it on and we are just hearing the difference now. that's it for today. Quick announcement. I'm now working on some new music and I'll be editing and mixing all of it on live streams on my channel. Two of these are already out so you can check them out and I'll be doing more so please stay tuned. I also released my new single today. The link to that is in the description and I'd really appreciate it if you can check it out and let me know your thoughts. A huge thanks to Smudge from Mastering in the Box for mastering the track. I'll put the link to his channel in the description. Head to Mastering in the Box to learn lots of mastering tricks and info. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you real soon. Bye!